All right, Brian Whitten here, AKA The Real Fireman on TikTok and Facebook and Instagram if you want to go there too. But anyway, uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to do a Swiss seat. Now, my last video, I showed you a hasty harness. It's made for a, just a very emergency style repel. This is a Swiss seat. They're very similar, yet different. So on a hasty harness, you have your ends tied together with a water knot on your webbing, right? With a Swiss seat, you do not. Mine is 15 feet long. Ends are not tied together. You put them together like that, you find the center, right? You just lay it on the ground, step over it, reach down, and pull your center up through your legs. Like I say, it's very, very, very similar to the hasty harness, but this is a Swiss seat. All right, a little bit more comfortable. Uh, you could probably repel a good little while with this. So once you get your loop through your legs and your two ends, you bring your two ends through the loop that you just made, just like that, and you can let it go. And it makes you a little seat, right? Well, now your ends are way long, ain't they? All right, so what you do is you take them around behind your back, swap them over, come back around front, and then you do your square nut, right over left, left over right, boom. Then, again, just like the hasty harness, you take both of these, hook your D-ring in there, and you're ready to repel, whether it be on your Speed 8 or your Rack Bar, your Pex ID, or, or even just your D-ring with a monitor, monitor hitch, you know, however you want to repel. And like I say, this one's so much more comfortable because you got this up on your back, around your legs and stuff, and you could actually do a little bit of leisure repelling, if you will, with this one. Uh, it's still kind of an emergency deal, and you can tie your safeties over here just to get that extra slack out of the way if you want to. That's up to you, but you don't really have to. I'm going to go over it one more time for you, real slow. I want y'all to learn this stuff. I don't want y'all, you know, to have questions or anything like that. All right. So, again, 15 feet is mine. Yours, if you're a bigger fella, you're going to need more. If you're a smaller fella, you might need less, right? As you saw, mine was a little bit long, but I like it that way just so I don't make sure I don't run out of anything. Take your two ends, put them together so you can find your center. You lay it on the ground. You just step through your loop, right? Reach through your legs, pull your loop up, okay? You're gonna take your two ends and you're gonna put them through the loop on both sides, just like that. Boom, all right? Just like that. Around behind your back, swap them over. And you're gonna tie your square knot. Right over left. And left over right. And this again is called the Swiss seat. Very similar to the hasty harness, but it's different. All right, you grab these two, put your D-ring right there, and you're ready to repel. Whether you do your speed aid or your rack bar, what, whatever you use to repel, that's where it goes. Pretty simple, all you need is a 15 foot piece of webbing. That's it. If y'all like the content, you are learning something, Hit the subscribe button, man. We're going to tie a bunch, a bunch of knots over the next few days. I'm going to learn y'all something. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. That way you can get, as soon as I upload these, it'll, it'll send you a notification. Well, you don't miss anything. Y'all have a good one.